Today we're going to tell you how to install a Kerb Alert Mini uh, in a Corvette C6. This is directions in this video. You can install uh, the Kerb Alert Mini without any uh, additional crimping or wire splicing or anything like that. Uh, it makes the whole installation very clean, simple, uh, gives you a place to provide power, and it doesn't have, you don't have to splice into anything. Uh, the entire package is specific for any Corvette C6 and uh, a very clean, simple way to do the installation. So then the only other tools you're going to need to complete the installation is about an hour of your time. Uh, a six millimeter ratchet. This is just to get to a, a ground screw that we're going to show you where that's at. Needle nose pliers. You're going to use these one time uh, and they'll be used to pull a fuse. Or you can use the fuse puller that's in the in the car that, that's in the, your uh, fuse panel box under the passenger compartment. A flathead screwdriver. You're going to use this one time. And that's to pop off an interior body panel. It has two clips in it. You just need to get underneath it and pop it out. And then either a wire fish or a, uh, a, a coat hanger that's been straightened out. Either one will do. And that is all you're going to need to start this project. So the first step is get the sensor through the grill. Get the uh, USB connector from the back side of the sensor through your grill. And then you need to get it up into your engine compartment and or or through your engine compartment and into the passenger compartment to the control module. So what I've done is I've taped the end of the sensor plug to a, uh, to a fish. You could of course use a coat hanger or something to that effect, a straightened out coat hanger. I chose to use about a three foot long plastic fish and I'm gonna take it and push it up through the front of the grill right about here. And I'm gonna go at an angle and then go through the firewall There'll be an opening in the firewall right about down there you'll see a punch that you can see light coming through and I'll take the sensor and just push it right through that naturally occurring separation between the firewall and the uh, or the intake shroud and the uh, grill so you'll see it come through in just a second and there it is so we pushed it through right here so I'm going to untape it, and now the sensor is through the firewall, or through the uh, grill intake shroud, and through the grill. As you can see, we've got the sensor wire now through the intake shroud. Our sensor's laying here on the ground, which we're going to put it right here. The sensor's going to eventually go right up under here, tucked up nice and neat and hidden. And the wires pull through. So now we're going to go ahead and start routing it to the control module. Now for the next step, we're going to be deciding where to run the sensor cable. And with the Corvette, it's actually quite easy. The easiest thing to do is come around your passenger side um, quarter panel, and you bring the wire up and through. We're going to go through and tie this all up nice and neat later. But you bring it up and come around the body molding right here, this soft rubber molding. And this is the same on the Z06, ZR1, or the regular C6 coupe. As a matter of fact, the C5 is the same way too. And instead of punching it through the firewall, we're just going to use the contours of the body and tuck the cable right down in here like this. Push it down underneath, and then we bring it in through the door. See how it pulls down through there? Nice and neat and easy. Now, of course, you can go through the firewall if you want, but there's no reason to. This just makes it nice and easy. And... Uh, for a quick clean install. So I'm going to need both hands. So I'm going to sit, set the camera down, but you can see what I mean. See how it's pulling through right through the, right through the side here. You can see that how it's coming right through. I'll pull all the slack. I'll tuck it in nice and neat. And then I'm going to run it down. The, I'm going to bring it in underneath this weather stripping here, down around the body, and then into the passenger compartment where we'd be drawing power from right down under the passenger side fuse panel, which I'll show you that shortly. So let me go ahead and get this tucked in and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now to get the sensor wire into the cabin, the passenger cabin, you can see we ran it down through here, around in that little joint, around between the where the weather stripping splits, and then uh, you pop off this little trim piece here, looks like that, goes right there, pop it right out of there, and then this piece is going to go over and it'll hide your wire like that.
This has the two little clips on it. Get a little screwdriver in there, it'll pop right out. And once you do that, you've got your sensor wire in the in the passenger compartment. Now we're gonna get power to the uh, to the curb alert. And this step's real easy. So all you gotta do is plug it into your seat heater fuse. Oh, and by the way, your seat heaters will continue to work. They will be fused just as normal. Um, and the curb will have power and be fused. So it's a really slick way to do the installation. And again, like I said before in the beginning, there's no crimping needed. Everything is already pre-done for you, so all that you gotta do is plug it in. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna do is gonna remove your seat heater fuse, which has already been removed right here. You can see where it's been pulled out right there. Uh, if you're not sure where it's at or you can't see from the video, there is a schematic on the back side of your floorboard you can use. But pull your seat heater fuse out, and then simple as this. You can see it's already fused. Fuse is down. Plug the curb alert into where the seat heater used to be, or where the seat heater fuse used to be. And uh, your seat heaters will continue to work, and now the curb alert has power. Um, and then the ground. You use this for your ground screw. Again, it's our, it comes pre-configured or pre-wired, so it'll, the connector is made to fit on the screw that you've got in your Corvette. Unscrew this with a six millimeter bolt, connect up your ground, put the screw back in, and now you've got power to the control module. So there's the finished product for the curb alert. You can see there's where we spliced into where we use the fuse tap. Uh, so the fuse tap goes in your seat heater fuse, that gives you your positive. Uh, your positive power and then you can see we got our ground here right there and then we got the curb alert all nice the control module all nice and neat tucked away back there we took all the excess wires you could of course cut them off if you wanted to um, to make them shorter but we just cho chose to to um, tie them all up nice and neat we just laid the curb alert down inside the, underneath the BCM uh, so we didn't tape it down or anything no reason to it's hidden in the fuse panel underneath the fuse board and then last but not least is the buzzer which we're going to end up sticking right up here on the passenger side makes it nice and easy and clean and then uh that's it close it all up it's calibrated and we're good to go the whole thing took about about an hour to do everything from start to finish okay so now i'm going to mount the sensor i just wipe this off a little bit with a little uh alcohol wipe I'm going to take the sensor and mount it right up under here, right up under the nose of the car, right there. Okay, as you can see, we also adjusted our sensor with the angle about to what we think it would be for to hit the curb in front of us or any object in front of us. So we'll start with that when we go to calibrate it. Okay, so we got the car running now and uh, Pretty much was calibrated out of the box. You start right here with your box out in front of you, away from the car, and you just slide the box in. And you probably won't be able to hear it on the speaker, but it's going off right about there, which is perfect uh, for me uh, to protect that front spoiler. And that's about the right distance, so it gives me a little time to stop. So I didn't even have to do any calibrating. I just took it out of the box, installed it, and by default, we're ready to go. Okay, so here's the final review from start to finish. You can see where the sensor is right there. Barely noticeable, especially when you're standing up. So from here, you can't even, can't even really notice it unless you're really looking for it. Then you come around, you can see we ran the wire through the grill. I showed you how to do that. And it comes out right there behind the intake shroud. Comes up through here. Around, it's all zip tied, zip tied, zip tied right here. I put a little one of the included cable ties right here on the firewall to tuck it away from the hinge. And it goes around here. So you come around your, your hood hinge. Tucked down underneath the body molding, underneath this rubber piece. I showed you how to do that. And you can see a little transition of the wire here as it comes across, down behind through this weather stripping, down behind this panel, it pops right off. And then up into your fuse box, which I showed you plenty of that. And then there's your buzzer right there. That's it. It's all done, calibrated, and working. And hopefully this will save me from a uh, 
damaging the uh, front spoiler. That piece.